A former boxing promoter who represented big name fighters like Lennox Lewis has transitioned from male to female. Her name is Kelly Maloney and she is, by all accounts, very happy to finally be herself after decades of feeling profoundly ill at ease with the male gender she was assigned. Hopefully that introduction was clear and easy to follow. I also hope it was accurate. I didn't misgender her or employ outdated, clumsy terminology such as sex change. The mass media usually does misgender people and fall back on these terms because transgender is an unfamiliar and sensitive subject. Talking about it can seem like a minefield, but clarity and accuracy are not mutually exclusive. By playing it safe when it comes to transgender stories, we are holding back progress and doing everyone a disservice. Trans people are misrepresented, and non-trans people are robbed of the chance to better understand the depth and breadth of gender variants. I'm trans, so in broad terms, I know how to talk about trans people. But unlike my gender, this language isn't something I was born with. I had to learn too. I make mistakes. These mistakes don't make me a bad person. If you aren't trans, it's even harder. You don't know how it feels. Maybe you didn't even consider before that sex is biological while gender is psychological because for you they feel like the same thing. So many non-trans people will see Kelly's story as fascinating, strange, perhaps even a little hard to accept at face value. It seems as if it is from this slightly baffled defensive perspective that the media covers transgender issues. This is a crying shame because it really isn't that hard. Kelly Maloney is a woman, so enough with the pronoun ping pong. A lot of coverage starts out using he, then switches to she. But most trans people see themselves as always having been the gender they present as after transition. We can talk about life pre-transition without using incorrect pronouns. Rather than talk about becoming a woman, say she has come out as transgender. She isn't living as a woman. This implies some kind of role play. Lastly, there is no such thing as a sex change. It's called transition. Calling transition a sex change is like calling puberty a body change. Sounds pretty silly and reductive, doesn't it? Our assumption that Kelly was male is totally understandable. We don't need to feel bad or apologize. We just need to make it easier for people like her to come out sooner. Here's the next step. When you hear about a trans person, think of it as a person coming out as trans, not as becoming a different person or switching gender. Kelly is the same person. She is now herself more than ever before. When we transition with hormones, it's like going through a second puberty, which is apt really because we are growing into ourselves. Some people, me included, feel like they've finally grown up, which brings me to the best part about all this. When we're able to be ourselves, we are, generally speaking, happier and more confident. The standard rules of courtesy and privacy apply but talking about trans is something we generally embrace if it helps people better understand where we're coming from. Just use common sense and judge your conversation by how well you know the person you're talking to. Are they a perfect stranger? Probably don't start with an intimate question about their personal history. In fact, don't ask anything personal. They're a stranger. Are they your friend? Did they initiate the conversation? Then it's probably okay to ask direct questions. Just don't steam in like someone who's never socialized with other human beings before. Never share personal details about your friend among strangers or talk about them behind their back. It's just about being a good person. It's always okay to ask someone what pronouns they prefer. And it's always okay to make mistakes. It's awkward, but that's life. Your intentions are what matter. The worst thing we can do as the media is reinforce the negative status quo when it comes to talking about trans. It isn't just about respect. When we get to the point of doing a story like Kelly's Justice, we'll be able to focus more on what really matters. We can cover the disproportionate violence and discrimination trans people face. We can work to improve the very high rates of suicide, poverty and homelessness in the community. And we can ensure that when we talk about social and legal equality for LGBT people, it really does encompass the L, the G, the B and the T. Questions, memories, beautiful stadiums, militarized police, some roads, hangovers and FIFA's case. FIFA takes the money, the sponsors, the tents, no shame. The circus is done and Russia waits. 7-1 was the least embarrassing number of this World Cup.